All right, well, I thought I'd uh, jump on the bandwagon here and uh, give everyone a little tour of my tying station here. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. It'll be a couple minutes. It's very small. Um, I found the desk at Goodwill. Uh, it was 20 bucks, which is pretty awesome. Um, I modified it a little bit, you can say. Uh, but, you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Uh, right at my side here, I have my drawer with a lot of shanks, body tubing, uh, these little dividers I just made with cardboard, um, shanks, body tubing, some zonks, uh, rubber legs, uh, some dub, some big packs of dubbing, and, uh, yeah, a little bit of foam and stuff, uh, on the side. We got bead chain, surplus hooks, uh, we got eyes, bead chain weights, uh, we got, uh, you know, lead weights, uh, a competition box with small hooks. Involved my small hooks. And then next door, we got all the big boys. Saltwater hooks up front. And then we got swim baits, GB Predator swim baits. We got TP610s of all sizes, TP610s. And then we got some uh, curved gammers that I use for carp. Uh, carp fishing, then we got some B10S Gamakatsu, I love the B10S, the Gamakatsu B10S, look how many different sizes it comes in, um, and then stingers in the back, and then we got, um, tubes from HMH, some, uh, wiggle tail, Paolo wiggle tails, um, yeah, that's that drawer. This drawer is kind of still a work in progress. It doesn't really have anything. It's just some beads. Uh, yeah, but it's going to be, there's going to be something in there. Um, my vice here, I tie on a peak rotary vice um, from Musky Fool. I got it from Musky Fool. Shouts to Musky Fool. I love this vice. It's amazing. Um, yeah. Um, I'm just finished uh, a redfish box. I'm going to. Uh, to South Carolina, and, uh, yeah, all clousers on one side, different clouds at different sizes and weights clousers on one side, and then shrimp and crabs, all shrimp and crabs here, so that's gonna be really fun, um, top of the desk, I got a little homemade flash tower that's made out of a shipping tube that's got a bunch of pennies loaded in the bottom, so it'll never fall over no matter what. It's always it's so bottom heavy that it'll never fall over. Um, I got my little dubbing brush uh, things here. I got my little homemade thread caddy. That's just foam with chopsticks and straws mashed into it. <laughs> uh, my little tiki mug. Excuse me. Um, some zonkers and dry fly hackle. This is my glue shelf. Um, and my little glue shelf here. Uh, all different kinds. I like my glues out of my way. Like... Uh, because I, I don't like knocking them over. Um, it's terrible. Um, and my little uh, tool caddy that I made out of a shed. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. This, uh, this drawer being missing here. You might look at it and be like, oh, that's crappy. But I find that actually it's got a secret purpose, which is great. I, I, t I fly tie out of a lot of books. This isn't a fly tying book, but if, if you can just pretend it is. Um, I can put the books in here and just slide them out in reference and then slide it back in. You know? It's 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 pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, up here I have... We have up here a hair's mask and uh, gummy skins and silly skins up here. Uh, then we have, this is all caddis stuff to make caddises, and then dubbing, smaller bags of dubbing up in here, different size dubbings. Uh, Congo hair on one side, 
brushes, all homemade brushes on the other side, different kinds of styles of brushes that I made and that I'm going to use and stuff. Um, this is some stuff that I found. Uh, this is Arctic Foxtail. This is Arctic Foxtail in there. Uh, Big Fly Fiber Straight, all, all chocolates, hairline uh, stuff, um, body chenilles, and uh, cactus chenilles and stuff. Uh, these are all saddles, different saddles, all from Whiting, I think, except for this one that I got from Blaine Chocolate. That came from the man himself, himself that grizzly magnum right there. Um, squimpish, right next to Squimpish. Strong fuzzy fiber, the best, <laughs> only the only the best. Strong fuzzy fiber, uh, which is, and then uh, Steve Ferrar flash blends. All double A musky fool bucktail. Look at that Wisconsin flame. Look at this. Woo. Uh, this is all bucktail in here and crapper on the bottom. This is all crapper, extra select crapper, and there's an open space here that I got it. So yeah, that's the old uh, that's the old tying station here. All right. Well, everybody have a good day.